Price from Furniture Magicians, and I'm a proud sponsor of this video. My name is James Cameron, and I love Rolls Royces. And I want to welcome you to the Rolls Royce and Bentley University Buyer's Guide. Let's start class. another session. We're back with my friend, Susan Price, who I met uh, going on two years now. Time does fly, does it not? Yes. yes, it does. And I met Susan because initially I was looking for someone who did furniture, which means they would know about wood and possibly be able to help in fixing up the cracked caps and the dash and the other pieces that I had in my robes, and she did a fantastic job. Well, move even more forward, found out that there's actually two ways in which this could be done, which, of course, I am who I am, so you know I always like to have it, you know, spectacular. So you did my wood again, and this time... You did it with a different process, and it's much more the way that most people are used to seeing how the wood looks on these cars, which is extremely glossy. But I want to take my class back to the time where maybe uh, they didn't even know that we had did a video on this, uh, so that if somebody is new to the channel, they would have an idea of how we went from there to where we are now. So let's go back a little bit, if you don't mind, and talk about that very first process that you did, because it was a learning experience for you as well. Yes. Well, your, your furniture, your pieces of wood, were very chippy. Remember, they were just, yes. everything was popping off. Yes. So the wood was very, very dry. So we had to get all of that old finish off and put on a new finish. And at that time, we were just doing just straight lacquer. And we used a, a semi-gloss lacquer to give it the sheen. You know, that's how we finished it. And, um, you know, it looked nice. It did. It looked nice. It was um, fine with me. Yeah. But then you saw a table. You come by one day and a live edge table that we had done that has the very um, high, high-end gloss. And it's uh, poured on a resin. It's a two-part epoxy mix, and it's a resin mix, and you really like that. Oh, yes, oh, I did. I really like that. Yes, so, I did. So we kind of started over. And, um, this time, I didn't have to take take it all the way down. I just had to scuff up the surface that was already done. Right. The color was already there, and then we were able to pour it. And um, Our biggest problem on that was uh, making sure nothing landed. Because the finish took so long to dry. Now, the first time you did it, the very first process, mm -hmm. that was like a matter of days, correct? Yes. yes, because the lacquer, with us spraying it on, we're spraying it on very thin. Mm -hmm. You had about 10 mils of thickness of lacquer on there. But it would dry in about 15 minutes, and then we could spray it again. Mm -hmm. uh, now, it wasn't cured. It wasn't hardened yet. Right. But you could spray those layers on it back to back and then let it... Dry. Because it was also a deal with temperature as well, right. I remember right. Right, yes. When we did yours, it was crazy hot. We had to tempt the, uh, the car because we were doing, at that point, we were doing it installed. Mm -hmm. We didn't take it out. And so when you brought this back for the epoxy, because it's a poured uh, layer, you obviously couldn't do that in your vehicle. Mm -hmm. So all of those pieces had to be removed. Right. You know, someone else removed them. And then you brought them to us, and then we had to kind of figure out how to get things to stay put. Because on the table, it was a flat surface. But on those arm caps, they were vertical. Right. And so that was definitely a learning curve. I think we finally came up with a way to set those so that they would um, dry fairly evenly. Okay. And that was, that was a huge 
that was a huge problem. <laughs> that kind of kept us kept right. us going. But also the other problem is it takes so long to dry. You can't just right. come back and forth. You know, in a few minutes, we're talking hours and days, right. and then the final because the, 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 the turnaround time of that was over two weeks. Yes, and even that might have been too fast, as we later learned. But um, it really takes that stuff a good two weeks to really dry hard, where you can actually handle it and not move it because and it's not don't worry about smearing it right because yeah. it's all the way dried through in about a two weeks' time. So that process is so much longer than the first process. And it just depends on what you prefer. But now we know we can do that. Because you, you actually received, because you, I remember you were so excited yes. because you called me and said this person, I think they were from Texas. From Texas. Right. Yes. This person from Texas had seen this video and was looking to have somebody do their wood. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to send... They were going to take off the pieces, which you were scared about, and send the pieces to you, have you do it, and then reship it back, which you were totally frightened about. Yes. But it all seemed to work out pretty well. Oh, it did. It did. But this person actually told you mm -hmm. that they did not want high gloss. Right. They really liked the finish that was in your car. The, like the initial one. The right. initial one. And um, they were just really pleased to find out that somebody could do it. And... I was shocked at the cost of the shipping from Texas, and we had to do it in three crates so that we could get right. it insured properly. Right. But um, I was shocked that with that cost and the cost that I charged him, that it was still a really good deal. Right. I was yes. surprised at that. So it's definitely a doable thing if you want to send me the parts right. and we can ship them back. Uh, but check with your local people on that. Yes. That was a surprise. To how high it was? Yes, yes. Yeah. Do you remember how much it was? Oh, That's I do. It. Oh, you do? <laughs> <laughs> but it was $970 to ship the what? with the insurance. Oh. Okay. Because they drove up the price. But I was so concerned that his parts would get broken. But, so I may have overdone it. I might not have necessarily needed to do as much as I did, but I was really concerned because those are not really replaceable. Oh, no. And no. so I just wanted to make sure he got yeah. them all yeah. together, and that's really what it took to make wow. sure. Wow, that would make my mouth drop, too. I know. I was like, wow, this is crazy. But, you know, you have to also remember about the insurance. Right. I had to put the insurance on. Oh, absolutely. No way. Uh, and um, they charge you. Oh yeah. Extra. Was it was it ground? Was it UP? Was it UPS? Was it FedEx or was it uh, post? Um, Do you remember that one? We did FedEx ground. Okay. And um, you know, because he was not in a rush to get the pieces back, so we just went ground. Okay. And that, I thought that was going to be cheap. Now I want to make sure I understand this. We're talking nine hundred dollars one way. One way. One way, because he shipped them to me in three containers. Oh, he shipped them, so whatever he paid, he paid. Right. But I'm sending it back. back. It cost $970. Wow. $9 wow. So, and I don't know what he paid on his end, but fortunately, we still had his boxes, so I was able to reuse right. his boxes, and I just had to buy some extra stuff. Stuff, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. But the point is, is that he actually wanted the semi-gloss. Semi he did not want that high gloss. Yeah, he did not want the high gloss. And he, he did send me photos later of his his soft uh, little shorts. It was stunning. Mm -hmm. And the color, he, ch he chose exactly the right thing for his vehicle. Okay. It was perfect okay. because of that bluish teal. Blue. Right. I've never seen that color on one of the Bentleys, and it was beautiful. Really? And he opened the car door and you could see the color sure. and then the inside of it, the color was just perfect. And when you do good work and you have a very happy client, mm -hmm. it's a win-win-win for everybody. Yes. wanted to show you as a class is do not take anything for granted. This is Susan Price. She's in Newport News. 
you can ship your pieces to her. But if that truly is not an option for whatever reason, just do a Google search. Find out people that do wood. And then from there, you can take it from there. But this is very important. Like I'm trying to show all of you out there, that these cars can be maintained and they can be maintained extremely well. They can be, uh, the upkeep can be done very well, but you have to do your homework. If you don't do your homework, you are going to be extremely, extremely out of pocket. Well, Susan, listen, it's been a pleasure. Happy New Year. I'm happy New Year's. There you go. And uh, I'm hoping that now you have uh, gotten this part done and it's not going to be, oh, James, guess what? We can even get it even more glossy. I don't think it's going to go like No, glossy. I don't think so. Because it is a mirror reflection. Exactly. But the one last question that I do want to ask you before we leave is that now that you've done this process on my caps, on my dash, and on the pieces in the back by the, uh, the, the, the light mirrors, what is the duration, do you feel, how long will this now last? This should last you a couple of decades. Okay. At least, um, because I think this is similar to what they've done before. Initially, I don't believe they used a board on thing. I think they just used like about 16 to maybe 20 layers of right. lacquer because the cordon two-part epoxy resin is a lacquer base, but it's like, you know, tens at one time. Mm -hmm. But the trick is you, it, it all drips off. Yes. So you have to realize you've got to, it costs a lot because you're losing a lot of product, but you have to have that so that you can have that finish coming. So we kind of learned it. Uh, next go around, it'll be better than it was this first it'll time. It'll be shorter time. I don't know if it'll be shorter time because it still has to That's dry. That's right. And uh, we tried to rush it a little bit, and that just that didn't work. Nope. That not work. That. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So when somebody tells you it's going to take that amount of time, just say, it will. Mm -hmm. I got you. Well, class, glad to have you with me. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure you hit that button. And I will see you for the next class next time. Drive safe. I don't know if that's my call telling me that I've overdone my time or is that's just your alarm, right? Yeah, okay. I just wanted to make sure I don't want to. I'm so sorry. No, I don't want to. No, it's fine. I just wanted to make sure I didn't overstep your time, you know. It's telling you, all right, time to be finished.